In this video, I'm going to show you two different speed test commands that you can use to test the speed of your internet right from your Mac OS terminal window. Now, we're all familiar with something like speedtest.net where you can come here in a web browser and do a speed test like I'm doing right here. Uh, but what you might not know is that speedtest.net has a command line interface. So if you just go to speedtest.net, come down here under apps, there's CLI, which stands for command line interface and they have it supported for Mac OS and these Linux operating systems as well. So in order to install it on your Mac computer, open up a terminal window and execute these commands right here, brew tap. And by the way, if you don't have brew, brew is a package manager for Mac. It's really easy to install. I think it's at brew. I think it's actually at brew.sh. Is there, uh, yep, the missing package manager for Mac. So simply execute this on a terminal window, you'll get the brew package manager. And then you can come back here and execute these other commands, which I've already done. So I already have the speed test command on my computer. So what, what you do, once you do have it installed, is simply type speed test, hit enter. And the same exact speed test that runs through a web browser is now gonna run on your terminal window on your Mac computer. So as you can see here, the progress uh, we're about 50% through the download test. We did some latency tests and some jitter tests. Latency is a, just a term for like basically ping the round trip time to go from our computer to the test server and back. And then jitter is the measure of the variance of the latency. So those look okay. Obviously the lower the better. So for my download test, I'm getting about eight megabits per second and upload 27 megabits per second. The download test used 13 megabytes and the upload test used 47 megabytes. And what's really cool is that you can actually see the results of the speed test in a web browser if you, if you care about that. So you can copy this URL, open up your web browser, paste it in, and you'll see the results just like you saw on the terminal window there. Now, there's a lot of different options you can apply to the speed test. Uh, so you can type in speed test dash H and that's going to give you a whole bunch of different options. We're not going to go through all of them, but we'll go through a couple of them. Um, one of them that I like is to change the units. So as you saw up here, we were measuring in megabits per second. Now this is approximately when you convert bits to bytes, there's a, eight bits in a byte. So to go from 8.66 megabits per second to megabytes per second, you would do 8.66 divided by eight. It's about, uh, what the heck did I just do? 8.66 divided by eight, not times eight. It's about one megabyte per second. And then 27.79 divided by eight, that is 3.4 megabytes per second. Now, Instead of doing that manually, you can tell speed test that you want to use megabytes per second. And the way you can do that is with speed test dash U. And I'm looking right here. So valid units dash U. Uh, we're going to do megabytes per second. So M B capital M capital B dash or slash S. Now we can run that again. And instead of seeing the output as megabits per second, we'll see right here megabytes per second. So doing a little bit better this time one and a half it's dropping down it's actually really good for out here in the middle of uh, sequoia national forest which is where i'm parked right now something i didn't mention last time was my isp is t-mobile that is the hot spot that i'm using from calyx um, and it's using the server from los angeles now i'm going to show you a little bit more about this when this finishes up you know how on speedtest.net it kind of figures out where the closest server is and picks one you can actually see that happening and you can also pick whatever server you want in your local area so um, there's the speed test results looks good um, let's try that let's do speed test and then the option for that is uh, actually well first of all let's list the nearby server so speed test dash capital l and that's going to list the nearby servers we have all of these in la which is makes sense for me because I'm about two or three hours north of LA. But you can actually see the decision making process for how speed test selects one of those servers, basically does a, a latency test to see which one is going to be the best for your use case. So to do that, you can do speed test dash dash selection dash details. 
hit enter and you're going to see a similar list of uh, servers and here's the results of the latency test so whichever one of these has the lowest latency it's going to choose so let's see it chose the Cloudflare server in LA with this ID so 44933 so where's that in this list it's this last one right here so that had a 39 megasecond yeah 30, 39 millisecond latency so that's why that server was selected as these um, the test server um, you can also explicitly pick one of those by doing speed test um, and I don't, I'm not sure what the use case for this is speed test dash s let's say we wanted to pick um, this one from shark tech so we'll copy that ID paste it here and then hit enter and as you can see it picked the shark tech incorporated server in LA to do the speed test on rather than it deciding which one to pick now there is like I said two different ways you can do a speed test from a Mac um, terminal window the other way is with a built-in command called network quality now this is, I, I believe this is only available for later versions of the Mac operating system let me see if I, yep for Mac Monterey version 12 and higher uh, I do have Mac Monterey so it does work on my computer here so to run the network quality command you simply type network quality and hit enter and what's really cool about this command is the fact that it's doing a simultaneous download and upload test. So speedtest.net does a download test first and then an upload test after that. Network quality does them at the same time. And this is a really good way to simulate actual usage on your computer, right? So if you're like on a video call, you're, you're sending out your data, you're uploading your video data, and you're downloading your partner's video data too so that you'll get you'll see different results here because of that because there's only a certain amount of bandwidth and when you combine them when you're using them at the same time that's a different scenario than just uh, kind of having one happen first and then the other happening second upload download something like that so here's the results of that the upload capacity 29 megabits per second download capacity about 20 megabits per second and they have some other data here, which I haven't really looked into myself. Now, if you do want to use the network quality command to do a back-to-back uh, -back speed test, you, you can do that with the dash S flag, which stands for sequential. And it's going to do the download capacity first, figure that out, and then do the upload capacity after the fact and figure that out. So let's go ahead and let that run through. And there's the results from this test. These results are very inconsistent because I am on a hot spot in the middle of a forest. So that's why um, your results will probably look different, especially if you're hooked up to your internet service provider through cable or fiber or something like that. But anyway, this is uh, how to do a command line speed test on Mac OS. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.